Hi everyone, in this video we have a trigonometric function and we're going to find a bunch of stuff like the uh, range, the amplitude, the phase shift, uh, the vertical shift, and the period. So to do all that, uh, we need to know the formula. So the formula is, or the general form, is the following. So it's y equals c plus a, and then here it's cosine, and then parentheses b, times x minus d. So that's the general form that we need this to, to match. And using in this, we, we know a bunch of stuff. So we know that c here is what's called the vertical translation. So that's the vertical trans. Uh, the absolute value of a is called the amplitude. So I'll just put amp. The period here is equal to 2 pi over b. And then the phase shift, I'll just put PS, uh, is equal to D. Okay, so in this problem, we just have to rewrite what we have um, to make it fit this form here, and then we can get all of the answers. So let's go ahead and do that. So we'll start by writing it as Y equals. And if you want, you can put the zero here. Why not? Let's be silly. Let's put it there. Um, sometimes it's good to be silly, right? So zero plus three cosine. And then we can pull out a 4, so 4 parentheses x plus, and then pi over 4. Parentheses, parentheses, right? So now we've made it fit um, this form that is down here. Okay, so let's go ahead and find everything. So the vertical translation is 0, so I'll put that up here. I'll call it VT just to be cool. Vertical translation is equal to 0. Uh, the amplitude is the absolute value of 3, so 3 is just 3, right? Its absolute value is 3, so the amp is going to be 3, right? You see the A is 3, so same thing. Um, what else do we have? Uh, the period. The period is 2 pi over B. So here the B is uh, 4. It's right here, so it's 2 pi over 4, which is pi over 2, right? Because 2 goes into 4 twice. And then the phase shift, ah, here's where it gets sneaky. So this is the reason I pulled out the 4. You see here it's minus D, and the phase shift is D. So you just switch the sign. So in this case, the phase shift is negative pi over 4, right? It's important to switch the sign. Look, there's a negative D here. It becomes a positive D. There's a positive pi over 4 here. It becomes a negative pi over 4. And last but not least is the range. So to find the range... Um, always start with the range of cosine. So cosine by itself has a range uh, between negative 1 and 1. So the y value is between negative 1 and 1. But then when you multiply it by 3, it's going to change from negative 3 to 3. So the range here would be negative 3 to 3. So I hope this video uh, has been helpful. That's it.